Hi everyone. So I just want to do a, a video about Samson. I was reading Samson, the book of Judges. I put the uh, the chapters where he's in, and I just don't really know them. It's a man that was chosen by God to do a job from uh, for our, for the Lord to free to free God's people away from the Philistines, which were very satanic people at the time, and since we're already in the times of the end times, where there's a lot of Satanism rising and stuff like that, and um, everything like that, and um, and God still uses people to carry out things, but it has to be truly coming from the Lord that chose someone to do that. But the thing is that uh, this man got deceived by a woman because Samson had Samson had a uh, an issue with having a, a, he was like a, he was a lazy man, and um, the reason I come I always cry at the, the end of story of uh, of Samson in the Bible because I get distracted a lot, I get misled a lot, I get thrown over something because I. I know I'm supposed to do something for my Lord Jesus Christ truly, but what happens is that I get distracted by women, food, shows, too much of it, and other things, and excessive of anything else out there that I sub from. A lot of people in this world probably can relate to Samson, because we all go through it. We all go through it. And I just wanted to let, we all go through something, and we're doing, as followers of Christ, get deceived the enemy, whoever he uses. Um, if you ever see, um, uh, this is the expression that God gave me when, this is a character from Friday. It's not a nice movie, but here's the description. Remember the scene on Friday, everyone, when Debo gave um, Chris Tucker an ice cube, the, the, the heads up, where it's like, because he, he took their chain, and he says, what chain? And he said, yeah, what chain? Well, and, and they got scared of him. A lot of people, but, but Samson is not bullied though. This is an expression of what Samson would give to anybody that's trying to stop him from doing something f for for gun or any or something like that. Fun though. That was correct. Thanks. And I just want to let you folks know that this is the expression because he got mad when they killed his wife. They got he got mad when they and I learned from the Lord they. They raped his wife too, Samson's. They they killed her. They burned her and his father-in-law. And it's really infuriating to Mr. Samson at the time. And here's uh, him wrestling with the lion, as as we know in the Bible. The riddle, and this is the part that always gets me sad because Samson did cry out to the Lord, and he's been and even though Samson was so full of faith. The man always went back to Jesus Christ. God gave, and the man was always humble to come back to God and cry out to him to give him one more chance one more chance to do what he was supposed to do for God. The thing is that a lot of times we all get misled and and I get sad, I start crying, I'm serious. I cry when I hear the story because at the end because I know I get messed with by females. I know I get messed up with a lot of things too. I, I have to do something for God too. And I know Satan's messing with me as Satan has messed with Samson. As Satan has messed with any of us that's one needing to do something for Jesus Christ. Satan does that to all of us, to anyone that has something to do for Jesus Christ. So the encouragement is everyone, if you got something to do for God and it's really coming from Him, we all need to listen to him. Even right now, when we have all this fear of, you know, COVID-19, this false thing, and everything else, and this and everything else, and since Bohemian Grove is happening and all these other places, things have been more and more um, obvious, more than ever. Even now, back then, you see the Philistines worshiping Dagon or Dagon. I mean, and now with Beaming Grove and all this other stuff, they worship Molech and Minerva and Diana and all this other stuff. So things, may I say this, Father? Thanks. May I say that, Father? Thanks. Things haven't changed, it's just gotten more and more 
worse, but there's a reason for it because God's going to change it to be. Uh, God's going to re you're going to renew the world. For, thanks. God's going to renew the womb soon in the future with fire. Thanks, fire. And the thing is that if you got something, but encouragement. This is an encouragement video, everyone. Encouragement is this, everyone. Uh, please understand. If you got something for God, you need to go and do it. And I need to go and do it because I've been deceived. I've been misled. I things of the earth. And I'm telling you, you do not want to be misled by things of the earth. That was like, it's Delilah to me. As everyone has a Delilah in their lives, which is a sin, a demon. Um, you could, man or woman can have a Delilah in their life. If they're not, they're being, I hope this was encouraging everybody. Uh, God loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. All of us. And... Um, I love you too. May God bless all of you. Peace.